All right, this is Leroy Diesel. Just uh, got a customer ask me about um, remote mounting an engine oil cooler. And what I've done here is I use my, my stock engine oil cooler hose kit um, and relocated the factory cooler back here underneath the driver's seat. If you have a 4x4 or something that you may get off road, I definitely would not recommend this uh, unless you build a skid shield for it. Um, for me, this is a pure highway queen, so it'll be fine for me. Uh, anyway, you can see I mounted the fan on there. That's in conjunction with my lift pump relay harness. I've got it tapped into that. I've also got a transmission oil cooler that I won't show in this video, but uh, it's also powered by that same circuit. Um, just real quick there for anybody who might be interested, this is the lift pump uh, pre-filter. Um, I'm kind of just sitting on the on the concrete here underneath the truck so it's kind of hard to get a real good broad view of all this but I think you get the idea and there's the Walbro FRC 10 pump um, right over there is the lift pump bypass fittings or one of them, the other one's exactly the same, but you see how it goes on the hard line and then comes out to a 3 8 inch hose bar which allows you to run rubber hose to basically any pump that you would want to run at that point. Um, so getting back to the engine oil cooler, uh, what I've done is, um, okay, trying to get oriented here, sorry guys. For example, over here, let me see if I can, okay, get back in the viewfinder. Right here, I've got, I pulled the original seat belt, I mean not seat belt, the, uh, the actual seat bracket bolts that hold the seat to the floor. I pulled those out and found some longer ones. They're a metric, I don't remember the thread size, probably around a 12 or 14 thread. I honestly, I don't remember, but you'll just have to figure that out. But I ran a longer one which would allow those bolts to go through this piece of unistrut. This is found at almost any hardware store. It's used for hanging electrical and plumbing overhead. It's called unistrut. It, ha it comes with its own special nuts that can slide up and down. The length of it on the other side are a lot of holes that can be mounted. Uh, just about anywhere. This stuff is very good stuff. I make brackets with it all the time. Uh, so I used the factory bolt holes and went into those special nuts on the unistrut on this side. On the other side I literally just went into the frame. Just ran some screws up into the frame. Um, so it, it, it actually goes over the top of the frame. It's sitting on top of the frame and then it's bolted down over there. Uh, the hoses are routed. Try to get this for you. And these are the factory. Uh, sorry, guys. I had to get out for a second. Okay. Uh, these are the uh, stock hoses that I sell in my kit. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say stock hoses. They're not stock GM hoses, but they're my stock hoses that I sell. They're a 52 inch long hose and that fitting right there, let's see if I can zoom in on it, yeah right there, um, instead of facing the block fittings forward you would point them backwards and you can see that one right there goes in between that aluminum, that transmission bell housing just perfectly um, and then there, there's the other one See if I can get that. And then there's that one. You can see the two side by side there. But that forward one will point more in a downward position, come down along the oil filter, and then uh, you can zip tie it or however you want to do it. Um, I wish I was on a lift for this video, but got to make do with what I got. Um, but anyway, it runs back to the back there. And. Um, goes into the oil cooler right there. Um, if anybody's interested in this um, as an option for themselves, 
what I'm going to do, I mean, I'm sorry, I was zoomed in that whole time. Uh, what I'm going to do is on this fitting in my normal kit on both of these I would include a 45 degree swivel adapter. Um, what I can do is include a 90 degree or I can just leave the 45 degrees which I think would take a little bit of this radius out of here and maybe make the hoses relax a little bit better but um, uh, I haven't had any problems routing them this way at all so you could do it either way but if you're interested in the 90 degree fittings that is not something I typically stock so you'll have to give me a few days advance notice um, that's about it so I think I covered it all here. If you have any questions, let me know.